families across Houston made grim and often heartbreaking treks back to flooded homes on Friday as the death toll from Hurricane Harvey rose to 45 and authorities called for massive, massive efforts to recover from the catastrophe. Displaced residents who had moved to shelters, hotels and other accommodations started making forays home to assess damage and retrieve photos, valuables and other possessions. The Texas Department of Public Safety said more than 185,000 homes were damaged and 9,000 destroyed, estimates which are likely to rise once receding waters give authorities access to heavily populated suburbs. Officials warned those returning home to do so in daylight, to throw away any food that came into contact with flood water and to check for wildlife, including snakes. With swollen rivers and reservoirs still risking potentially deadly flooding, the Red Cross said the number of people in shelters across the region had increased to 42,000. Hurricane Irma, meanwhile, gathered strength in the Atlantic, but forecasters do not know where it will hit. Harvey wrecked water pumping stations in the city of Beaumont, about 100 miles east of Houston, leaving residents without clean water. Many remain trapped by debris and waste high murk, which carries risk of disease. Authorities in Crosby braced for potentially more explosions at the Arkma chemical plant, which caught fire and exploded on Thursday, spewing toxic smoke over the city, which has been evacuated. Houston's two principal airports have resumed limited service and traffic trundled through dry, sunny streets, giving a sense of normality. But some 37,000 homes in the region were still without power. About half the number from Thursday, said Mayor Sylvester Turner. He urged conventions and visitors to come. We will be ready, he tweeted. At a press conference, however, he said the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers needed to release water and reservoirs to create capacity lest more rain come and bring fresh disaster. He reiterated that people should not stay in homes if they had water. The Texas governor, Greg Abbott, struck a bleak tone, saying recovery would be long and arduous. This is going to be a massive, massive cleanup process, he told ABC's Good Morning America. This is not going to be a short-term project. This is going to be a multi-year project for Texas to be able to dig out of this catastrophe. He said the cleanup would be bigger than 2005's Hurricane Katrina because Harvey struck a much wider area. The storm cut a devastating path through a 300-mile swathe of southeast Texas, a landmark storm which broke rainfall records in the continental U.S. and left entire communities submerged. A Category 4 hurricane when it made landfall. It is now a tropical depression and still packing a wallop as it moved northeast, prompting flood warnings in Kentucky and Tennessee. Donald Trump is due to visit Houston on Saturday, his second visit to the region this week. On Friday he tweeted that Texas is healing fast, sick. Neighborhoods around Buffalo Bayou in West Houston could only hope so. They live near two flood control reservoirs and dams and faced continued disruption. Several residents said that even as rainfall rates eased earlier in the week and parts of the city dried out, flooding worsened in their streets as Army engineers deliberately released water into the bayou. For some here, access to their streets, let alone starting cleanup work in their homes, remains days away. Water may remain there for two weeks, officials warned. Next to the bayou, some of Houston's wealthiest suburbs have been among the worst hit. Oliver Navratil stood on a street corner. Wondering how to reach his uncle's home, the man's young family had fled to safety as their house took on eight or nine feet of water. The street was still under three to five feet of water the color of milky coffee. A newly bought blue Mercedes waited at a stop sign, presumably permanently, with water lapping over its front hood. Navratil said he was trying to run some reconnaissance. Just trying to see if we can grab a canoe or some kind of floating vessel to get across. Adrian Van Rensburg a South African whose house flooded west of Barker Reservoir, stood next to a pile of cleaning supplies in a strip mall's parking lot. He was picking up some bleach. I've been here for five years and I've experienced a 100-year, a 500-year and a thousand-year flood, he said. Something is not working out here. The White House has prepared a request to Congress for an emergency $5.9 billion, 4.6 billion pounds, package and Harvey recovery aid. It is expected to be followed by further requests that could exceed the $110 billion to victims of Hurricane Katrina. Analysts said storm had tempered Republican infighting in Washington that had threatened a government shutdown.